Hello and welcome to this video. Here I'm going to show you how to create a tab component with Tailwind CSS and Alpine JS. Tailwind CSS it has made it very easy for us to design our own styles and our own UI elements. And Alpine has made it very easy and simple to create single page applications or SPA. So this is the demo that we will create tab component element like this. We have three types and on which tab we click we get the contents according to the tab. So this is the home tab and here we go to the videos and then the posts. And if you don't know how to use the Telvin CSS, I've got a Telvin CSS crash course on my YouTube channel so you can follow that to master Telvin CSS. And if you don't know how to integrate the Telvin CSS with the Alpine JS, so we have, I've got a video on that as well. How to integrate Telvin CSS with Alpine JS. You can follow these videos to reach this step, and after that, you can create this tab components. And if you already know, that's good to go. So let's dive into it and create such a component. Okay, so I'm on the Visual Studio Code and I have already integrated the Alpine JS and the Telvin CSS. So this is the link to the Telvin CSS. Here is the link for the Alpine JS or my own scripts. So going with the Alpine JS and Telvin CSS, I'll create a div, a div which contains all my data or all my tab components, and I'll just give an X data according to the Alpine JS. So I'll just uh, declare a variable uh, like tab for the first home tab. The first tab or the active tab should be the home tab. So inside that, I'll create two more divs. The first div for our tabs and the second div for our components. So let's first create our uh, tabs. First A is for home. So here in this, and let's copy it for the, uh, let's say video tab and let's copy it for the, uh, let's say post. Okay, so whenever we click on each of these tabs, we should get uh, contents according to that. So we have to create three uh, and three other divs inside our contents div. So we'll get for each of this one. So we say X show, X show whenever the tab is equal to home tab. So this, the first div will be for the home section. And we can copy this. Let's say, uh, let's put some paragraph inside it. Let's say home tip contents. Okay. Let's copy this uh, or this for the three tip. So the second will be for the video, and the third will be for the uh, post. Let's save it and see what we got. We got the home tip contents because. Uh, first, we initialize the tab should be equal to home, and if uh, we want our active to be video tab, so we can just write here tab for the first initialization equal to video, and our uh, video uh, con tab contents will be visible to public. Okay, so we got the video content, and if we just initialize it with the post, so we will get the post tab contents. So let's say it home. Okay, let's now uh, handle the on-click events. So we can say easily in Alpine JS at click. So we'll just say the modifier set on prevent, prevent to prevent the um, original behavior of our anchor tag or anchor tank uh, tag. So it will, otherwise, if you don't put this one, so it will just go to this link. We don't want. We just want it to click and change the content of this. Uh, like we can say variable so let's say tab equal to home so whenever we press on the home the tab should be equal to home and again whenever we just click on the video the tab content should uh, or value should change to video so the same thing will be for the post option when we click on the post the tab should change the value of tab should change to post so this is the simple now we can save it and go to the browser so this is home active 
the let's say for the video and for the post this was the interesting part now if you want to quit that's okay you will get the source code in the github and the link will be in the description after this uh, i'll just use the Tailwind css to design it and a bit of alpine js as well uh, for example so let's say let's some uh, give some Tailwind classes for our main div let's say wait for the 96 and hide for the uh, about the screen size and a background color of for example red 500 let's see what we get so we're ready almost let's bring it to center and mix auto yeah we got it in the center after that let's uh, come to our tabs and give some classes for this one uh, let's say border bottom uh, two maybe that's okay we just divided the two portions and now we can customize each of our tab let's say class mm, or let me bring it down to the next line class uh, for example a padding of about three then it might be okay let's see a padding of maybe five okay so a padding of five and let's see let's mention the weight of our uh, whole div of uh, tabs to full and say it be flex and let's see what we got now we got something cool and again the class p5 okay we can say and the width full you'll get that why i'm giving this weightful now it is just covering almost almost 100 percent so let's give the same class for our second second tab the same thing for our third tab let's see now we got the tab this is the post video and home tab let's bring all the text in our every tabs into center text center for the yeah we got this yes now let's uh, cover the portion that whenever our active uh, tab should have a different style and color or at least a background color so we can do it very easily with the alpine jazz because we have the binders here we can bind a class for our active tab we can say put just colon and just say class and bind the value okay so we say that whenever uh, that put the bg white bg white whenever uh, like our tab is equal to home so this is for the home tab whenever our uh, tab is equal to home we should get a background of white let's save it and see yeah we got the background white and again the same uh, processes for the uh, next tab which is video so we we'll just say class equals and just bind this class with this specification pg white okay whenever our tab is equal to uh, like video so let's save it and just check when we tap on the video we get the background and the same thing for the uh, uh, third tab which is post okay, let's see this is the video tab post tab and now you can just put your own data inside this let's just say our div for our uh, contents and give it a class and a padding of about five so we get something some cool types of content and this was it and if you have any question uh, you can ask in the comment section so if you like this video please put a thumb share it with your friends thank you very much